In terms of speed, size, and hardware, Sifactinus has to be up there as one of the greatest river monsters that's ever lived. But one prehistoric leviathan grew to three times its length, and with monsters, size counts for a lot. And there's one modern-day behemoth sharing these waters with the sailfish, which can give me a sense of that scale. I've never tried to go after a fish this big, and I'm starting to wonder if I should. A dark shadow betrays a giant beneath the surface. Emerging from the gloom is not a whale, but a whale shark, the largest fish on the planet today. Look at that thing. It's just massive. It's a good 20 foot long. But that's a small one. They grow to about twice that length. That is the size and weight of the school bus. But compared with what came before, the whale shark is small fry. Incredible. Huge as these things are, even a fully grown one is smaller than the biggest fish that ever lived. That was about the size of a train car. This prehistoric, shadowy beast has to be a contender for the greatest river monster ever. It patrolled our planet's waters long before giants like whale sharks or whales came on the scene. The sheer scale of the biggest ever river monster is something that can only be appreciated outdoors. Normally when I go to the beach, I'm there to bring in a monster. I never get to play in the sand. Today, I'm going to create my own life-size image of this contender for the ultimate river monster. From the tip of the snout to the end of its tail, we're talking more than 50 feet. So you could line me up eight times along its length. And at up to 12 feet long, you could line up two of me along each fin. This fish was like a giant ocean glider. Then there's its enormous mouth. It had a huge gape. I could pretty much walk into its mouth, but I wouldn't find any savage fangs in there. This giant ate plankton like the largest whales do today. Long before whales came on the scene, Gleedzikvis was the first plankton-eating leviathan. No bony skeleton fish has ever grown near this size again. It may have topped 20 tons, yet it flew through prehistoric oceans like a great glider. And once Lee Zikthis vanished, it would be many millions of years before any other plankton feeder approached its phenomenal size. 